There's a guy sleeping under that green tree up there, drunk, looks drunk. I don't know if he is, maybe he's just sleeping now, but this, what else is there to do? But, you know, it's one o'clock in the afternoon. I was thinking about, often, often, these drunk guys show up and, and I think, what is it? Uh, is it... Am I channeling the drunk guys? Is that how is that how it works? Do I owe them for everything that I'm producing? Everything that I say is actually is theirs, but they don't have the wherewithal to say it. So. And then I was thinking about my father telling me that he got he got his UDI medal from Ian Smith for basically sleeping off hangovers on a tarpaulin underneath the bench in the dark room at, in the Rhodesian Air Force. And then I was thinking about that guy who had the same name as one of the Pitcairn Islanders had the same name as an American president and who died the day the American president lost the election. I must still be quadrophene here. But it's a little hard to lay claim to the coincidences that happen around you, isn't it? I mean, I'm not saying that the my trying to rescue a pigeon that was run over in Tapachula outside the Condor bus that was a bus station where the the bus leaves for El Salvador has anything to do with the, the pigeon that bird dropped at my feet ripped its head off and eaten its heart. Is that my fault? Was the David Lynn, the Lynchian cigarette ad where the pigeon shows up at the last minute and gets into the shop? Is that my fault? You can lay that shit on me if you want. I'd love it. <laughs> 